Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create stereographic projection inside Houdini. So first of all, what is stereographic projection? So stereographic projection is a perspective projection of the sphere through a specific point on the sphere onto a plane. So in our example, what we are going to do, likewise, this is one general model of this particular concept where we have one sphere and this is my some spherical content that we represent as some white lines or white curves. And over here on that particular sphere, on the top of that, we have one source of light, that is point light. And now when it on or it emit some rays, so we get a proper specific pattern as a shadow over here. Okay, so likewise, see, it might be possible that your pattern is like this. Okay, so see, in every case, we get one circular pattern which has some diameters like this into this okay so we need to create this kind of concept where we get our specific pattern as a shadow okay so over here what i prefer to do likewise this is my side section of side view of that particular concept so over here, first of all, we need to create the geometry that or the pattern that we need as shadow. Then what we are going to do is that uh, we need to identify the position of the light in this particular point and our sphere. So we need to identify the intersection point between that point and source of light onto that particular sphere. And we need to change our position of this particular point from here to here. Okay, so that should be my process to design that spherical content through which we can generate stereographic projection. Okay, so let's move into a proper example. So over here, I created already one grid. Okay, with very high segments because we need to convert this particular stuff into a spherical manner. And we need to convert in such manner that we get this particular pattern as shadow. Okay, so for that reason, over here, I just need to create one sphere. And I prefer to create that sphere as primitive. So we can have limited things but we get a proper spherical content now maybe i just increase the radius maybe by four and i just set it onto grid okay so through my size i just set justify to be minimum like this over here okay now over here to do that particular thing that i want to project or move my grid onto that particular sphere I have to write down one wrangle. So I'm going to write down one wax for that. So this is my first input and this is my second input. Okay, so this is one index and this is uh, zero index and this is one index. Now I just increase the text size of over here. So for that reason, I just go to edit, preferences, scripting, over here, I just increase maybe one sixty percentage so that we can easily read out what am I going to write down over here. So first of all, I need to identify or I need to specify the position of light. So for that reason, I'm going to write down one vector variable, and that name is light position is equal to chv. I'm going to create one parameter for that light position. Okay, then I need to identify the direction of that light. Okay, so direction of any point towards that light position. Okay, so for that reason, I just write down vector direction to light is equal to simple 
your light position minus your original point position okay then we need to create two vector variable that is one is intersection point and one is u that is not mandatory but i just created that particular stuff now i need to identify interaction point or interaction information between that particular point and that particular sphere so for that reason over here i just use one intersect function okay so that zero number input should be interact with one number input that is sphere so over here i need to write down one second i need to identify the position uh, so that that is the point through which i just need to identify then uh, on which direction you need to identify the okay so uh, the intersection so for that reason over here i have this direction to light that is very important so through which basically we can identify that thing and over here i just write out intersection point and u okay so over here basically we stored our interaction intersection information position information of that intersection point of our point towards that light and between that sphere and uv information okay so this is my very important variable that we stored through this particular function and what we need to do is that this is very simple we just need to get we just need to define our new position it is our intersection point okay now if i click outside okay still you are not get the reason is that we are not defined the light position so that should be my four as i just said my uh, that radius or uh, uniform scale to be four so over here i just manually type you can definitely uh, connect those particular value with that and see you will get this thing okay now one more important stuff is that over here i need a little thickness on to this particular thing okay so this particular thickness also should be towards that particular point light so i want to extrude the this particular flat surface towards point direction so for that reason over here it is preferable that i just write down normal okay so i just redefine normal for temporary purpose okay but then we need to again calculate normal and that should be normalize of direction to light okay so now we will get little awkward things over here but if you check maybe this one normal direction so now see it's towards that four uh, that zero four zero position okay so i just stop this particular thing and now how to extrude that thing so i just apply poly extrude over here in this particular stuff you need to define point normal in which you have to define existing normal and now you just apply a little bit thickness to that as well as out back now see we get some normal direction towards or uh, that actually towards that particular light direction okay so now we need to recalculate normal again so i just write down normal through which we recalculate the normal okay and i just apply little bit bevel to this particular edges so poly bevel Maybe point zero zero two. Okay, but only onto the 
flat edges you know the flat edges and maybe a little bit increase the division Okay, so we get something like this over here. Now I just create one null out grid sphere. Okay, so now I have uh, I have this particular stuff. Now to check this particular stuff, I'm going to move this particular content to Solaris. Okay, so I just copy this particular thing. I just click over here, I move on to Solaris thing. So over here, I already create some content over here like backdrop, camera and material library. Just I need to call that spear over here. So I just call shop create. I just put it over here, name it as object. Just make geo slash dollar OS so that we can get a little proper structure for that thing. I just go inside this thing, apply object merge over here, paste that null path information. So we get this particular stuff over here like this. I just jump over here again and just set my camera. Okay, so I get something like this over here. Now what I need to do is that I just need to create one point light. Okay, I just click onto this thing. Move the position to 4, just temporarily on this light shadow and see, you will get that spear, uh, that grid pattern as a shadow over here. So I just change it to be spear, universal scale a little bit down, 0.2, base property I just increase the explosion maybe 10. The radius maybe 0.4 little bit change in shadow so I just set create and maybe maybe if you want little lighter shadow or something like that that is fine okay and karma and over here I just set render light geometry that is also fine so now if you render this particular stuff see you will get this shadow like this over here so now you just need to apply material like i just assign material and i have two object one is my backdrop i have already material for backdrop okay you can create by your own materials whatever you like and material like this okay so that's how you create this particular stuff stereographic projection okay now i just move again on to object view i just go inside this particular thing maybe i just copy this particular network control c come over here again and see over here i created some more patterns like uh, this one spiral square i just paste it over here Maybe I just connect like this. So now see, I get that spiral square like this over here. Now I just name it as spiral. I just copy this particular stuff. Again, jump into stage. So go inside this particular thing. Paste it over here. Come outside of this thing. see you will get that pattern like this over here okay so that's how you can create stereographic projection and see with the hood it is not mandatory that you can use only spherical pattern you can use cubical formation over here and whatever the you like the thing is that your wherever your light is there uh, your content should be not reached till there. Okay, so avoid or to get good result, make sure that your object should be maybe three fourth, uh, cover three fourth of the sphere. So that will give you good result. As well as you can play with light intensity and whatever. 
Okay, so hope you like this tutorial. See you soon with another tutorial. Thank you.